discussions about our having a deployment flag, the Blue Star flag, here on this campus. Uh, we're here today to honor Derek Perkins and to unveil this new flag at the college that we will use in the years to come whenever a student is deployed. Before I tell you more about Derek, I would like to recognize his family that are here with us today. His wife Lisa is right here. National Guard in Wyoming as a flight medic. In 2009, Derek was again deployed, this time, third time, this time to Afghanistan for Operation Enduring Freedom. In the fall of 2014, Derek applied as a transfer student to WMCC and became a student last spring of 2015 an Associate of Science degree in nursing. This fall, Derek was deployed a fourth time, this time back to Afghanistan in support of Operation Freedom Center. His service to our country is exemplary, and we are proud of him and the sacrifice of his family. Please now welcome Dr. Todd Holcomb, President of Western Nebraska Community College, uh, to share with us the history of the Blue Star Flight. The service flag is an official banner authorized by the Department of Defense for the display by families who have members serving in the armed forces, of, armed forces during any period of war or hostilities the United States may be engaged in for the duration of such hostilities. The service flag, also called the Blue Star Flag, was designed and patented by the World War II Army Captain Robert Casey the 5th Ohio Infantry, who had two sons serving on the front line. The flag quickly became the unofficial symbol of a child in service. During World War II, the practice of displaying the service flag became much more widespread. Most flags were handmade by mothers across the nation. The Blue Star Mothers was founded as a veteran service organization and was part of a movement to provide care packages to military members serving overseas and also provided assistance to families who encountered the hardships as a result of their son or husband serving in the war. In 1960, Congress chartered the Blue Star Mothers of America as a veteran service organization. And in 1966, the Department of Defense revised the 
specifications for design, manufacture, and display of the service flag. The Department of Defense specifies that the family members authorized to display the flag include the wife, husband, mother, father, stepmother, or stepfather, parent through adoption, foster parents, children, stepchildren, children through adoption, brothers, sisters, half-brothers, or sisters of a member of the armed forces of the United States. The service flag may also be displayed by an organization to honor the members of that organization serving during a period of war or, or hostilities. Chris Baker, who's our uh, SBO president, along with Mike Milliken, our VUV advisor, one of them being consistent. Uh, will you come forward to raise the deployment flag? Veterans, freeze in. Star flag in honor of Derek Perkins. 
it, it is our wish that as you pass by the flags each morning and in the evening, that you will keep Derek and his family in your thoughts and prayers. We look forward to the time when Derek returns as a student to pursue his associates.